Hello, good people. Yes, I know I have a lot of uh, shortcuts on the desktop, but hey, my screen is huge, and I had to reduce uh, the resolution to uh, record. Okay, so uh, basically, you don't need a cube, okay? So just press X and erase it, okay? Go to uh, top view by pressing 7 on the numpad, space, add mesh plane, and this is what we're going to do, okay? So um, step out of edit mode with tab, you know, if you aren't already out with object mode, and add a new material, like this, okay? Well, this is uh, pretty much it, you'd say, okay? So, um, you know, let, let's add a color, select this one, uh, specularity for water pretty high and a lot of hardness no shadows let's see full um, uh, let's see what what this is reflection yeah okay and let's go to mirror transparency over here uh, click on ray transparency to enable it uh, IOR about 1.26 like this um, let's see that's pretty much it actually okay so uh, you might want to render oh wait obviously we forgot the key factor which is alpha okay so reduce this one to about 0.01 like this and render not really anything you know you see like a speck or something nothing at all okay so uh, let's try to add something to be refracted by the water surface okay so let's add um, our favorite Suzanne which is the monkey head from blender uh, let's subsurf it by going to the edit panel F9 add the modifier uh, subsurf uh, one level should do it Set smooth over here and hit apply. Okay, so uh, let's move Suzanne under uh, the, the water surface by pressing G and moving cursor around. If you want it to go uh, strict, strictly down, press Z, which locked it to the Z axis, and do this. Okay, uh, so now uh, right click on the water surface and scale it up by pressing S like this okay so uh, let's let's try a render uh, actually no go to render options which is basically F10 and uh, disable shadows because you don't you don't really need shadows in this test okay so let's render it looks uh, a bit weird but still not water okay so what we're going to do is add a texture that imitates water um, waves and you know all that stuff uh, might just want to go a bit lower with saturation and all that oh yeah and the uh, specularity and that with the hotness okay so let's go to texture buttons uh, which is the leopard skin thingy and add a new texture, which should be uh, you know, whatever you want it to be. I, uh, I personally like the clouds for this one. Okay, uh, before changing stuff around, let's go back to the material buttons and uh, heading over here in this side, map to. Okay, uh, deselect color by clicking it and enable normal or nor and you're going to see why uh, let's render and it's only something a bit different but you know still not not water effect okay so you might just want to um, mess with the settings by uh, you know changing the value of nor just a bit you know and always try a lot of renders okay uh, for the sake of argument, let's uh, disable traceable 
for the plane because you don't really need it it's a 2d object and uh, later if you want to enable shadows you know whatever it's it's your CPU you know um, let's try a bit more normal like this it's starting to look like water well kind of okay so um, we might want now to uh, make the water like you know seem like it's moving um, but you know if you render the animation you'll get the same frame okay so uh, what we're going to do next is uh, create a new window by right clicking on this black area you know black line right click split area uh, and over here click and select from this thingy which I don't know what what it means uh, try to find um, IPO or something yeah IPO curve editor okay so this is your basic IPO um, curve editor as the name suggests click on object texture okay and try to locate uh, actually no material sorry try to locate off Z which is this thing okay so once you click on this right uh, no actually click control you know, press it down keep it pressed and click somewhere around here okay uh, to make it uh, start from zero just uh, press N you know tab to uh, enter the curve editing mode and uh, move these values to zero okay zero zero okay so uh, now we have one point of the curve at uh, zero by zero okay uh, let's make it a bit constant you know not a uh, zero like press T IPO type linear okay I say constant because you know it doesn't have any jumps or anything but I don't want it to look like square signal okay so now uh, press tab to enter the, the editing mode of the curve uh, you should know it's in uh, edit mode because it says point instead of curve okay and uh, again press control and click somewhere like like here again you've noticed uh, a segment just appeared you know actually there's about three one two three but never mind okay um, this is going to be the offset of the z-axis of your texture I know uh, you didn't quite understand that at first hand but believe me it is something okay so let's try to uh, render you know, not you actually and you notice it's moving finally you have moving water without having to uh, you know have a fluid simulation wait for it to bake and all that schmoozing okay so uh, from now on you might want to adjust um, the material for the water you know, like this you know exaggerate make your own stuff uh, don't expect me to give you the values though no. okay so we have water um, drowning Suzanne yeah I'm sorry but you know just happens and that's pretty much all there is to it and it works for about anything you want it to work okay so uh, if you want an EKG scan or something you know, similar you can always disable ray transparency enable alpha uh, disable normal click on color choose your color uh, let's see like this and pretty much uh, do whatever you want okay actually it looks a bit like uh, uh, hell I have no idea what it looks like but you know it's a bit interesting if you know how to use it which I don't really but that's it okay so uh, that's about it for water well, you know faking water surfaces and I guess I'll be seeing you over and out. Oh yeah, if I 
don't really know how to uh, close this.